Think of two cases. Guy number one, he has an idea and he decides not to write it down. He believes he can remember it, right? Then 30 minutes later, he tries to recall that information, whether it was a, an idea that he had for his business or whether it was a task that he wanted to achieve. He cannot remember what it was. So he says, okay, next time I will write it down. So he has some pieces of paper lying around. He has some notebooks. He has a bunch of different little agendas and notepads and he just starts writing more things down, right? But then when it's time to achieve that task, to put that into action, he doesn't know where he wrote it down. He forgets where to locate it. And now he has a pile of paper that he cannot go through because it's just too much. Now think of guy number two. This guy actually uses something like Tana Capture, an amazing way in which you can use your mobile phone and just start writing a quick note. If you want to, you can also just start recording a voice note and everything that you're saying in here is gonna be sent to Tana and then that can even be transcribed. And everything will reliably go straight into your Tana, even if you don't have internet. This guy is gonna have a much better way to keep track of his ideas and tasks. And granted, guy number two probably won everything he writes down, probably won't be gold, not all of it will be gold, but the pieces of nugget, you know, the one in 10 notes or tasks or ideas, those will be saved and he'll always have access to those. And like guy one, who has maybe some golden nuggets hidden between all of his piles of paper, but he will have a very hard time trying to filter and find the correct thing. So he will lose most of his good ideas. I've personally gone through all the stages. I remember times when I was really thinking I could keep everything in my mind. I was very into memory techniques, I still am, and I thought I could use that to keep track of good ideas. Didn't really work. Then I've gone through stages where I tried to write everything in paper, have a system for notebooks, index cards, and really rely on paper for everything from things like ideas to tasks and important decisions that I need to reflect on. And with paper, I always would end up losing and not really knowing where everything is. It is so much more work to organize things in paper that whenever you use a, an app, you know, a really good tool like Tana, it just cuts your time in half and it's just a much more efficient way to do it. And then I move really to this technological space of PKM, as it's called, personal knowledge management, a place where you can find the correct apps for capturing and organizing your ideas as well as your tasks. I've used a bunch of different apps that you've, if you see this channel you're probably aware of what I'm talking about until I finally stumble upon Tana which to me is a perfect mixture between a place where I can actually can write a lot of my ideas in there as well as keep track of my tasks so that to me is invaluable and the fact that now this thing is available the fact that you can write it from your phone which by the way this is an iPhone that I had to steal from my girlfriend is an old iPhone that I've been using to try the Tana Capture app because I personally use a Google Pixel phone so hopefully this will come to Android soon if you feel the struggle let me know in the comments but it is a really amazing app I mean the fact that you can just write things down in here and it will go to Tan is amazing. The fact that you can also do voice memos and everything that you say is going to be sent to your Tana and then you're even able to transcribe it inside of there, meaning that you don't need any other extra apps for that. That is just amazing. There's nothing better than having some system like Tana Capture to send your notes and ideas and tasks straight to the main app that you're using, in this case Tana. It really is a next level way to do things. If you still think that paper is a nice way to do this, I would personally say that paper stopped being relevant and a useful tool. I hundred years ago, the only useful version of paper today is toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, I say this because honestly, I've been trying to write things down, try to write ideas on paper. I can never find them. They never resurface. They never become relevant again. I really think writing down ideas and tasks in paper is a waste of time. It's very inefficient, which is why I'm a strong believer that things like Tana Capture are the best way to actually capture your ideas and tasks so that you can actually get around and use them. So Tana Capture got us all by surprise. I wasn't expecting this to come so soon. And the fact that it's available on iPhone is great. Can't wait for it to be out on Android so that the rest of us can also so use it. In the meantime, I'm using this old iPhone to make use of it more. So if you do have an iPhone yourself and you're ready to use this, congratulations, I envy you. So go ahead, go get the app. And by the way, whenever you start typing a text like this, this is actually gonna be sent to Tana, right? Now, this is gonna be sent to a special place called the Inbox. But if you do want to see everything that you write, whether it is a task or an idea, if you want to see these things inside of your daily page, I created a nice workflow in which you can do so. So if you want to check that out, I made an exclusive video for my community, but because I believe it's a useful one, I decided to make it available for free. So you can check it out in the description and get access to that and start implementing it into your system so that you have an even better workflow. So with that said, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one, bye. Yeah.